I've never shied away from telling you the brutal, honest truth. Never shied away from tough decisions. And today, I'm here to do just that. My friends, we're losing the battle between the variants and vaccines. The pace of our vaccine supply has not kept up with the spread of the new COVID variants. We are on our heels. But if we dig in, remain steadfast, we can turn this around. We're down, but no means are we out. In the last few weeks, you've seen me up here every day. We've been ringing the alarm bells for weeks. We pulled the emergency brake for the entire province. We shut down our schools. Most of the province has been in some form of lockdown since last fall. We announced a second stay at home order for all of Ontario. And as we saw in the modeling, these actions have slowed the spread. They've reduced mobility and avoided the worst case. But we have to do more. The reality is there are few options left. We have implemented the strictest measures in all of North America. And the difficult truth is every public health measure we have left comes with a massive cost to people and their lives. But we have never shied away from doing what's necessary. And it comes down to two, three, three things. Limiting mobility, enforcing the rules, and getting vaccines into arms. And as your Premier, it falls on me to make the difficult choices. It falls on me to do what's necessary. So effective immediately, we're extending the emergency declaration and prolonging the stay-at-home order province-wide for an additional two weeks, for a total of six weeks. Outdoor gatherings will now be strictly limited to members of your own household only. Anyone who lives alone can join with one other household. We'll be closing all non-essential construction we're restricting all outdoor recreational amenities, such as golf courses, basketball courts, soccer fields, and playgrounds. We're reducing capacity in big box retail even further to 25%. Beginning on Monday, places of worship will be capped at a maximum of 10 people indoors. To get ahead of the variants that are plaguing Western Canada, beginning Monday, we're setting up checkpoints at all interprovincial borders. We'll be limiting access to border crossings between Ontario and the provinces of Manitoba and Quebec, with exceptions such as work, medical care, or transportation of goods. And we're calling on the federal government to immediately <coughs> tighten up our international borders. We're currently facing the devastating consequences of COVID variants that entered Canada through our borders at the start of this year. We need to do more to stop other, even deadlier variants from getting into Canada and causing, and causing more ha havoc. That means limiting air travel, tightening up our US border, and addressing the countless issues we're seeing with testing and quarantining when people fly into our country. Every week, over 36,000 people from all over the world come through Pearson International Airport. The variants that are causing this inferno, they got in through our borders. And more needs to be done right now. For our part, we are taking decisive action on the ground to dramatically step up enforcement. We have made the difficult but necessary decision to give police and bylaw officers special authorities to enforce public health measures for the duration of the stay-at-home order. I know that the majority of Ontario residents 
are doing the right thing. They're following the rules, keeping each other safe. But we need to step up enforcement. We need to focus on those who are deliberately putting others at risk by ignoring the stay at home order. Those gathering in large groups, continuing to put themselves and others at risk. So understand the restrictions will be strongly, strongly enforced because they must be. We know that when they're followed, these measures work. They reduce mobility and they do flatten the curve. We know this because we've seen them work before. What we need now is for everyone to follow these rules. These variants are infecting and killing younger people every day. We need more time to continue vaccinations to priority populations because getting needles in arms will help put this pandemic behind us. Through no fault of their own, certain communities are waging a bigger battle than others. 20% of the province has 80% of cases right now. We need, need, we need to use the limited vaccines we have to focus on the infernal because we will all benefit from getting these areas under control. That's why we're increasing vaccine supply to hotspots by 25%. And we're pressing the federal government to get us those shipments. Every vaccine we receive goes into an arm. Every single one is spoken for. We have seen clinics close and turn people away because we don't have the supply we need. And just today, we learned about a further Moderna delay. And we clearly saw in the modeling, more vaccines means fewer cases. More vaccines mean fewer hospitalizations. And more vaccines means we get out of this sooner. So if there's anything at all the federal government can do right now to get us more vaccines, we need to get them now. I can't emphasize that enough. We need the vaccines now. In the meantime, we're taking immediate action to build unprecedented capacity in our hospitals. We're moving forward with our emergency plan to add another 700 to 1,000 new beds. We don't want to have the use, this, this new, we don't want to use this new capacity, but I want the people of Ontario to rest assured it is there if we need it. And it's been remarkable watching our healthcare heroes fighting on the front lines. And I want them to know that more help is coming. And each of you have the most important role to play. Please stay home, follow the rules, and get your vaccine as soon as you're eligible. My friends, you have my word. We will not rest until this virus is beaten.